Um, this is just going to be a quick video on how to make um, Italian sausages or bratwurst or anything like that, like some kind of link sausage. Um, there's several different ways that I do it, but this one's popular at least with the bratwurst uh, with the wife. So um, I'm not actually making bratwurst today. I'm actually using these uh, Dorisio's real Italian sausages. This is medium. I like the hot. Um, you know, we both kind of like the hot better, but they didn't have any hot, so medium's pretty good too. So anyway, we start with those, and I got the, the char griller going here. I got about a half a charcoal chimney of um, charcoal in there. It's all lit and about ready to go here. Um, I always use a cast iron skillet when I'm doing these, and I get my cast iron skillet uh, pretty much gray with heat and then uh, um, ingredients are going to be um, some fennel seeds um, just whole fennel seeds um, garlic salt the uh, some peppercorn fresh ground peppercorn I also have this uh, it's a three pepper blend uh, it's locally purchased but uh, any kind of uh, pepper blend I like for these and then just some uh, cheap dirty vegetable oil and that makes it pretty simple. Um, there's two other ingredients that you have to use, and um, I like to use anyway. And that's a, a nice cold beer. Uh, the darker, the better. But uh, all I have is light because I'm on this low carb thing. And the other ingredient is some uh, soy sauce, which you really don't use much of this stuff. But uh, a lot of people won't put that on sausages. It doesn't really, I guess, go so well. But I found that that's really what it needs, so I've been using that for about two years now. So, anyway, uh, I'll show you what I do here. I'm gonna get the tripod so I can get this set up so you can watch me do it. I got my cast iron skillet pretty hot; it's not quite ready yet. Uh, first thing I do though is take these sausages and just give them a little bit of a sear, just to harden up the casing on them just a little bit. I'll let that, I'll let those sear for, oh, a minute and a half, two minutes aside, probably. Something like that. They don't have to, you're not trying to cook anything, you're just trying to harden that, that casing up a little bit. On bratwurst, you want to go, you want to sear these just enough to where the skin doesn't bust or wrinkle or crack or anything. You just want to get it toughened up a little bit. doesn't take much. Something else I like to do at this point is uh, add just a little bit of wood for some smoke flavor. There, I just got a little bit of hickory bark. I like to save the bark. It puts off a lot of smoke. Alright. The skin's just starting to crack a little bit on a couple of these, so you don't want that to happen. I'm going to go ahead and get them off of here. Now normally I don't do eight of these at once, you know, there's usually, you should do four to six of them, but first thing I do is get some oil in there, and I use, oh, maybe a, I don't know, maybe a half a cup of oil, maybe a little better than that. I'm going to sprinkle them with this uh, local free pepper rub here. It's actually, a, they call it a burger rub, but it's good stuff. 
Got some ground peppercorn, salt, and everything else in it. Fresh grind some peppercorn into it. Again, some garlic salt. And then I'm going to sprinkle some fennel seeds in here. Then cook up. Put some beer in here. Just very little soy sauce. Maybe a, a tablespoon max, teaspoon, more like it. And you want to keep these on medium heat. They're on pretty high heat right now. And then we'll close this up and let them go. I usually let them go for about seven to eight minutes um, before I open the lid, turn them over. You know, take the top ones, put them on the bottom, all that stuff, and then uh, let them go another seven or eight minutes, and then I just go until they're fully cooked. So we've been on there for maybe five or six minutes now. Not quite ready to turn them yet, but we got to add the onions now. What I do is I just get um, about a half of a large sweet yellow onion and dice it up. Uh, doesn't have to be real, real fine. We get that diced up, and then. Go ahead and add that. And I don't like to add these right away. It seems like they cook down a little too much. You want to get, you know, I don't necessarily use this for my sandwiches, but uh, you want to get this cooked down. You don't want it to cook down too much. In case you do want to use some of them on your sandwiches. Go for another couple minutes here. About ten minutes or so, I, I guess. I'm just gonna get these top ones rotated. Rotated into the bottom here. Better look here. We see a couple of those I got a little too much done, but when I was searing them. But that's what we're looking for. And now uh, I probably go another 10 minutes or so, and then uh, you know check them then. But I think uh, another 10 to 15 minutes will be done. But uh, you just cook them till they're done. At that point, you know. If you have to, some people, if you're not, you know, good at telling, you can stick them with a thermometer, and you know you're looking for 165, 170, something like that. So, so anyway, but you can see the beer is is mixed nice with everything, and the onions are starting to go clear on me. So we're doing good. All right, it's been seven or eight minutes or so. And I'm just gonna spin this around again. Try to my heat, my hot spot's right in here, so I want to try to keep, you know, half and half. And, and I'm gonna move my heat down just a little bit. Seems like it's getting a little hot. Move that over a little bit. 
I'm going to give you a little close up here. You see how the onions are translucent now? Um, you know, they're soft. We'll just kind of rotate some of these up. But you can see the beer and vegetable oil and all that is getting a little thicker along with all the onions and everything else and it smells amazing so we're getting there um, I'm gonna go get the buns ready we're gonna toast the buns here so we got these these hoagie buns these are Pepperidge Farm hoagie buns they're classics and these are our favorite and you just butter them butter both sides of them put them on here and sear them up I'm really good at burning these by the way but I'll try not to today it doesn't take much I'm going to try to keep them moving they don't stick too bad I don't know if you can see this or not, but a lot of times your sausage, when you're making your sausages, you get this, you start to get this film on top of the liquid. That's a pretty sure sign that you're you're pretty well done. That's just about right on that one. If you can see that. And I like to, you know, they're pretty well warm. This one needs a little more. But I like to flip them over. Just flip them over, you know, flip them over and leave them on the grill for a couple minutes the other side too. It, Sometimes that'll give you a little bit of a little bit of more stable of a bun, I guess, so you don't your sausage doesn't rip through the bun. And sometimes you can get some nice grill marks on there; it makes it look kind of cool too. So. But these are just about done. Get some of these onions up. But you can see these onions are are really translucent now. So you don't want to put your onions on too early. Um, I'm not going to use these onions on the sandwich. Uh, I'll use fresh onions on mine. But sometimes, you know, those are good to put on a sandwich too. But these, some, most of these are a little too done now for my my taste anyway. See that one looks pretty good. Still use just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to put these sausages back over high heat for just a couple minutes. And finish them off real good. I'm going to take these buns in the house and we're just about ready. Two, two minutes or so and we'll be, we'll be ready to eat. We've been simmering like that for about two minutes, three minutes. I like to finish them off on high heat like that. And now we're going to just plate them up. I made the whole package of eight, so we'll have uh, lunch and dinner today. But I'll show you the finished product here when I get it in a bun. Okay, here's the finished product. And I load mine with mustard. I love mustard on mine, but 
um, onions, and the wife uses Dijon, Dijon mustard. Uh, you can use ketchup, whatever you like. But that's the finished product. Now I'm going to go eat.